Hello everyone, this is Maximus with A1 Website Pro.com and today we're going to be having a continuation of our Amazon web hosting. Okay, so if you, if you haven't already created the instance, the terminal, the key pair, the elastic IPs, please go back to the other lessons. They're on awebsitepro.com under Amazon Web Hosting Services. But <clears throat> now we're going to install WordPress onto our domain, you know, right, right here. The 52.6.141.6. And fortunately for you, I have all the cheat sheets right here that I'm going to show you. And I'll have them on a website pro so you, that you could just copy and paste. All right. So, and you would be able to download this cheat sheet. <clears throat> now let's go over what we're going to do. First, we're going to connect to our server. Okay. After we get connected and we're connected successfully, we're going to down, we're going to get the word pressed. Okay. I'm explaining this now because when we do it, we're going to do it real fast. Okay. It's going to go to WordPress and it's going to download the latest zipped file. Okay. And we're going to extract that zip file. It's going to be created in, in a directory called WordPress on the server. So that will be necessary for us to move the WordPress, everything, all the contents in the WordPress directory that we move them to the root directory. Okay. And then we're going to remove the directory called WordPress and, and, Ampersign, we're going to remove the file called latest tar.gz that we originally pulled in up here. Okay, the next step we're going to do is we're going to set up the database. Okay, so here all these are just one line codes that you're going to copy and paste. But this particular one right here, if you're not logged in as root, you would use this. But we're going to be logged in as root, so we're going to look use this to log into the MySQL server. It's going to ask you for your password. You're going to create a database. Now right here, the blog, you want to change this to whatever you want it to be. Okay. <clears throat> so if, if it's my special blog, you can have underscores in there. You know, the blog, in fact, we'll leave the underscore right there like that. The next thing we need to do is create a user to connect to the blog. So we're going to create a user, Maximus McCullough, at localhost, identified by ABCDEFG. This would be a password, okay? So you'll change this to whatever you want. You'll also change this to whatever you want. More than likely, you'll be on the local host. So you can leave that alone. But right here in between these single quotes, you'll change that name and you'll change the password, okay? Now make sure you write these down. Then you want to grant all privileges on the blog. Okay, so let me copy this on the blog to Maximus McCullough at localhost. So we would change this to match whatever database you created. And then Maximus McCullough, you would put your name there and there. Okay, identified by ABCDEFG. These passwords should be the same. And then we're going to flush the privileges. Okay, now when we go in here to log in, and we go to log into the uh, MySQL server, it's going to ask you for the root password that you set up. And uh, if you're not familiar with that, go back to lesson two, you know, where we were installing everything. Okay, are you ready? We're going to get this show on the road. And here we go. I'll bring up my terminal right away. Start copying and pasting. I told you this was going to be fast going to be fast all right so there we go now what do we got to do next and i should probably you know tell you to log in as root but you just better do it okay cd su d o s u okay so we're logged in as root and just to make sure let's make sure we go find to the right directory so we have to navigate to the right directory now where is this directory at okay we go CD VAR, remember at the original CD WWW, okay, CD HTML. And then we type in DIR and we see where that we're in the root directory. Okay, now we're going to rock and roll. Everything right here is going to go really fast. And just let me show you, you have no website on here right now, okay, no website on that IP address. All right, so <clears throat> let me bring up that, let me bring back up my cheat sheet. Go get everything. All right, here we go. Getting the WordPress files. 
Can't do that in Fozilla, right? Okay, we're going to extract the zip file. We're going to move everything from the WordPress directory to the root or to our public domain. And then finally, we're going to remove the WordPress directory and the file that we imported to the server. Voila, we're done. We actually have all of the files that we need. Let me push this over here so you can see it's going to ask, hey, this install WordPress, okay? All right, so the next thing to the, you know, is it's asking for the database name, username, this, that, and the other. All right, <clears throat> so here we go. Let's go ahead and log in to MySQL, MySQL hyphen P, just like that. Now, this is the password that you have to enter root password whenever you set it up all right now we're going to start creating some databases all right so let's create the database paste all right so we created the database now let's create a user paste Maximus McCullough all right looks like we have an error oh it's too long Okay, so let's call this, let's call Max, all right? Now, since it's too long, we have to change it right there and right here, okay? So let's create that user again. We'll just call him Max at localhost. All right, there we go. Said that that's okay. Now, let's grant him all privileges. Now, this is important. Because whenever you install WordPress, it needs to update, add tables, so on. So we're just going to grant all privileges at old max on that particular one. All right. And finally, we are going to flush the privileges. Paste. Okay. Now, there may be a couple other things that we have to do. But uh, we're going to put this off to the side, and I'm going to make sure that I grab that information. So the first thing we're going to need is the database name. And the database name is a the underscore blog. So let's go. Database name is the underscore blog. And the username, of course, is Max. And the passwords, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Okay. And then the database is localhost. Now I'm going to run through this so I can show you what happens. Whenever we hit submit, you see it says they can't write to the WP config file. That's because it's not it's not created. So remember on that last lesson, the last video, I told you you have to log into the Vim and edit the config file. Well, this is where that particular thing is going to help you, help you if you were playing around. So we're going to get out of MySQL, right, in directory. Do you see this uh, wp-config sample? We can actually move that, rename that to wp-config, the, the file that they're asking for. So we'll go mv wp-config-sample dot PHP and we want to name it config.php. Oh, sorry, we want to name it wp hyphen config. All right, let's see here. Boom. Now let's see if it worked. Okay, so there we go. Now we have wp config. Now remember the editor vim wp config.php. This is going to bring it open the editor. See where it says database name here. So we're going to go down here, define database name. And this is how you would actually, you know, insert a lot of things. So the, the database name was the underscore blog, right? Oh, I'm sorry. I made it beep beep. And I definitely want to get that here. That database name, the blog, oh, the underscore blog. Then I want to delete the rest of this stuff here. Okay. Go down here, the username. Username is simply going to be max. We can delete 
the rest of that in there. Make sure you keep them quotes in there, otherwise we're going to have problems, pal. Okay. All right. Password, A, B, C, D, E, F, oh, F, G. All right. And let's delete the rest of that in there. All right. Let me see here. I think that we're good. I think, I think, I think, I think. Okay. All right. So what we want to do is hit the escape key, colon, W, R, enter. And it writes it, escape key, colon, Q, exclamation point for quit. All right. So now let's go back. If we refresh this, this is going to, it's going to ask for the WP config file. So let's go back to the home page right here. Now, here we go. We're ready to set up our uh, website. See, our website. Okay. Username Maximus. Here's the password. We'll copy it into a safe place so we can log in. Install WordPress. There we go. Let's put our password in there. And look at that. We have us a WordPress site. Okay, right on our domain. Okay, so that's how you install WordPress with Amazon. Wasn't too bad, was it? Okay. Yes, it was excruciatingly painful, Maximus. Okay, I understand. All right, <clears throat> this is Max with Avon Website Pro. I hope this has benefited somebody out there. Thank you.